meeting with Eric Stern. Eric Stern? Didn't he just win, win the, the National, National Book Award? Yeah. That's the excitement of working for Andrea Todd. And he went from a great author to the President of the United States. He could just walk out of that office. <sighs> Man, how lucky are we? Anyone would kill to be one of her assistants, and we got chosen. <laughs> I'm the envy of everyone at Wellesley. Ah, a Wellesley girl. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you, but that's a stereotype. We're not all a bunch of Birkenstock wearing Katie Lang fans. I was not very bad at all. In fact, I have a cousin who went to Wellesley, Alison Bowman, although you might know her by her nickname, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I happen to have a boyfriend, and I know six, no, seven other girls who do too. <laughs> Get out! Run for your lives! All who enter here are doomed! <laughs> Go! Now! <laughs> wow, usually they just offer you water. <laughs> that was your predecessor. We call him the bug eater. <laughs> I hope you die, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, we'll see you now. <laughs> Come on in, guys. Got coffee? I'm fine, Miss Todd. It's Andrea. You call my mother Miss Todd. At least that's what I call her. Please sit. <laughs> so, I'm sorry we haven't met before, but I trust my personnel department to send me the very best, so welcome. Ernie Honeywell, Michigan State in three years. Breathtaking. Jill Fisk, Wellesley. Half our staff from Out Magazine went to Wellesley. <laughs> 230 letters of recommendation, impressive but overkill. <laughs> and Walter Bowman. Harvard. Oh, there's that smugness. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, my personal executive staff, what does that mean? How do I put this? Uh, il est plus facile de vous dire ce que vous n'allez pas faire. C'est dans le plus I'm so sorry. I don't speak French. Okay. What I was saying is that it's easier for me to tell you what you won't be doing. Sleeping. You guys are now mine. Understood. Great. Awesome. Oh, one other thing, by Monday morning at 8, there will only be two of you still here. Pardon me? I only need two personal assistants, and this is traditionally how I make the final cut. I hire three, observe them for a few days, and then let one go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it won't be me. Despite my girl next door looks, I'm a fighter, and I'm not going to lose out on the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> you know, there's always one that pops up and says that. <laughs> Thank you. It's usually the one that craps out. <laughs> You'll find I can be very modest, too. Go with that for now. <laughs> so, in addition to whatever else comes along, I have a project for you. We're thinking of acquiring another magazine. So I'd like you guys to go through the list of top 100 and give me a full report of their status, advertising, profits, circulation, demographics, projections, public perception, and their best staff members should be doing a little poaching. And I want it on my desk Monday morning at 8. This Monday? <laughs> this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we might not get to it until the end of the week, but yes. We all good? <laughs> Ernie, I'm a little worried about your lack of French. We do a lot of business with Paris. Well, I'm an army brat. I lived all over the world. I speak German pretty well. Some Italian, even Japanese. Well, if we ever take on the Axis again, you're my man. <laughs> <laughs> but I need French. Yes, ma'am. By Monday morning at 8. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yes, you. Yeah. I did it when I was seven. The piano, though? <laughs> that took a week. <laughs> I was president of Societe Francaise at Harvard. Me too. I know. I was planning a reunion sometime this fall. I was thinking Le Hot Cheval. The chocolate bread pudding? I know. I could eat two. Obviously. Lose ten pounds by Monday. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an off button on you? I understand we have a mutual contact, Arthur Stottlemyre. Yes, uh, his son Neil is my boyfriend, great man, Mr. Stottlemyre, one of my mentors. I despise Art Stottlemyre. I refuse to be in the same room with the man, let alone his evil spawn. 
<laughs> You're telling me to dump my boyfriend? Of course not. Oh, that would be unfair and heartless of me. I'm asking you to take the initiative. <laughs> By Monday. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. In my defense, I retain water. <laughs> <laughs> Learn French over the weekend. Why should you just ask me to look French, too? I'm not going back on Vyvanse. I'm not going back on Vyvanse. <laughs> There's only one institution of higher learning that could be so cruel and self-entitled. We're number one. <laughs> I warned you all, but you went in anyway. She was fascinating, wasn't she? Brilliant, flashing that beautiful smile, though still Perky breasts that almost beckon you. <laughs> Don't be fooled. She's the devil. She'll charm you, then grind you down until you're nothing but a broken, craven, pathetic, half alive wreck. And if I'd stayed any longer, that's what would have happened to me. <laughs> I'm guessing Yale. What happened to the other assistant? Some make it out of here. Like Richie. He's in Paris now, the head of creative services there. They gave him a six room flat! He walks down the Champs Elysees to work every day. Frere is Jacques, Frere is Jacques. Dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Dude! She slept with him. That's how he did it. They say she has an insatiable sexual appetite and an eye for the young ones. <laughs> mm. Light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. If we have any more questions, where can we get in touch with you? The White House. You got a job there? Never thought I would, but it turns out there's a lot of guys like me there. <laughs> I don't have time for Rosetta Stone. <laughs> don't you have something that could teach me French in two days? I am willing to take mind altering drugs. <laughs> yeah, life threatening is okay. Uh, Jill, uh, this just came. Somebody is sure crazy about you. Oh no, Neil. How do I love without you, I want to know. How do I breathe without you, if you ever go? How do I ever, ever survive? Oh, how do I love? Congrats on the new job, Neil. <laughs> you know, my guy sends me stuff like that too. Of course he's married. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Not only are you his girlfriend, I bet you're his first girlfriend. <laughs> what do I do? I love him. This is all so cruel. Just send it back with a note. It's over. I've got to put my career first. Or I just met this hot looking chick. <laughs> <laughs> that is low. And why is it always Wellesley? Why don't you ever pick on those lesbos from Sarah Lawrence? Sorry. I'm hungry. I can't stay in this room. It's sexual harassment with muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sure this guy is great, but there'll be plenty of others. No, there won't. You don't understand. Men hate me. I'm too competitive, smarter than all of them. They're intimidated. Have you tried just sleeping with them? Usually cuts through a whole lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> now you sound like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. It's 3 a.m. Yeah, let's let's come back and do this in the morning. Oh, well, see you then. You're not leaving? I have nowhere to go. All my stuff's in a locker at Port Authority. Ooh, that's not right. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you're homeless. I was going to move in with Neil so you could have had my place, but forget that now because I'll probably die alone in that tiny depressing apartment. Ugh, get over it. It's just a relationship. It's not like the McRib is back for everyone but you.
<laughs> There's a shower in my private bathroom. Just make yourself at home. I'm so sorry. I, I did not know if you'd be here, and um, I have nowhere to go, and I just thought, ooh, sacre bleu. <laughs> <laughs> Come to me. Something you said earlier stuck in my ear. What's that? I don't give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie, my first night in New York, I didn't have a place to stay either. I didn't even have a job. But I had to get away from Hartford and my jealous mother, Miss Todd. <laughs> I got the same kind of job you're doing now. Although I rose quicker than anyone ever has in the business, man or woman, take that on me. <laughs> had a few rough spots. I was distracted by my marriage. Never love an actor, especially one that does theater. <laughs> <laughs> the book is, don't think that we're on such different planes that I can't relate to who you are. I'm not speaking French now, say something. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking leaving him alone here? I mean, he's a wonderful guy, but that could be an act. Get us to let down. Meanwhile, he's learning everything he can about the company. Getting a leg up on us. I think you're overestimating his cunning. Well, Ernie, now that I've opened myself to you, you can put your pants back on. <laughs> 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 See the demographics on Newsweek? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Je ne sais pas. Let me see. You say c'est comme les choses l'autre jour. Why are you guys doing this? Did you form some sort of alliance like on Survivor? <laughs> Maybe we should form an alliance. You know, work together to save each other. Why not? He went around us. Exactly. How do I know you won't go behind my back and form an alliance with him? How do I know you won't? You don't. Neither do you. I can live with that. So can I. Shall we shake? Why? A word means nothing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My point is settled. You know, I wasn't going to bring this up because I'm a gentleman, but last night while you two were at home sleeping, I was here, going at it all night. <laughs> plowing on, pumping nonstop. <laughs> I pulled out my biggest biggest acid in there, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that lady was impressed. Well, <laughs> apparently the gauntlet has been thrown. <laughs> Call it what you want. This is why I went to an all-girl school. <laughs> I applaud your initiative, but given the opportunity, the Ivy League will always triumph. Oh yeah? Well, I'll put my Big Ten up against your overrated Ivy any day. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when I can't compete. <laughs> Do you live alone? Yes, why? Ernie needs a place to stay. He's going to live with you. Me? Why me, for God's sakes? Walter, you're handsome, and I find you very charming, but you have absolutely no compassion, and that is an ugly, ugly quality. You hear that? She thinks I'm handsome. Hell, hell, the idea. Andrea? Andrea? I have your itinerary for London, but I have a few questions. What? Don't come in. You want me to come in? Great. Sorry to disturb you. Did you hear me tell you not to come in? Oh, it sounded like you did want me to come in. Is there any place I can go to escape you, Jill? <laughs> Andrea, I am so, so sorry. I just had some questions, but they can wait. Hey, you're already here. Oh my god, you're not alone! No, I'm still with Eric Stern. We're having a little story conference. Ah, ah, it's over, it's over, it's over. <laughs> Bye! Wait, wait, while you're here, maybe you can settle something. Have you read my piece for Success Magazine? Yes. What did you think? Ah, uh, well, I'm really kind of busy and I'm all alone here. Uh, Walter is picking up Andrea's new Wheaton Terrier, and Ernie is in Central Park looking for her diamond earring. One of these days I'm going to find that damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jill, did you like it or not? Yes, it was excellent. Really? Because I thought it was crap. <laughs> well, I'd have to reread it. I'm sure there's some things in there that 
that you saw that I didn't. Don't be a suck up, Jill. I hate suck ups. <laughs> okay, I really liked it. <laughs> so one day here, you know more than I do. <laughs> oh, I'm not going back on my pants. I'm not going back on my pants. <laughs> do I still have any chance at all at this job? Does this seem like a good time for a performance review? <laughs> no, sorry. This is a really bad time, I realize, and I'm not up to speed on the way you work. Oh, Jill. Right. Hey, you can come work for me. Ooh, what do you look like? <laughs> Neil! I've been calling you for two days. What's wrong? Are you avoiding me? Andrea hates your father. What are you talking about? They're having an affair. <laughs> what? <laughs> that evil, manipulating, oversex bitch! Are we not okay? <laughs> no. I have to dump you. But I can't. Maybe. Maybe I could say I dumped you, and then we could meet in secret. It would only have to be for a year or two. Just don't come around my place. I'll call you whenever we can see each other. And then, after I've established myself, we can be out in the open again. By then, I'll know where the bodies are buried, and I'll start to move against her. Begin to form my own power base. I am a natural leader. People will follow me. I just have to begin. Jill, Jill, you're doing it again. I want to talk to sweet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what happens to me? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> what do I always say? Just do what your heart tells you, nothing else matters. That is so why I love you. Well, you know what? I don't care what happens. I don't care about anything but you. We are okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> How do I love without you? I want to know. How do I breathe? Yeah, yeah, I saw the card. Let's just do it. <laughs> Andrea left an hour ago. Whoa. I know this is wrong, but you are so beautiful, and I am so grateful that you got me. And I give you my body, my very soul. Wellesley. I knew it! <laughs> Hello. They said you could come right in. Yes, good morning, Walter. A new first bound. What? And the dog is with the trainer? Yes. Did you know the soft-coated Wheaton originated in Ireland a farm dog? Hunted small game and can watch the family property? Yes, I did. See you tomorrow. Wait, can I talk to you for a minute? You just did. Bye. You said that if we had a problem, we could come to you. When did I possibly say that? <laughs> okay, can I go to the bathroom? Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> wow, what a spectacular place. Rothko. Pollock. Dolly. <laughs> you know, he had about a hundred cats. Used to playfully toss them up in the air just to watch them fly. <laughs> I did the same thing. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Have you eaten? My chef just sent up these fresh cinnamon buns. Can you smell them? Yes. Heavenly. And they're having the same effect as a rag of chloroform shoved against my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry. You're being good. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> Take off the jacket. Not bad. Thank you. Could I join you for some orange juice? <laughs> Fine. So, what can I do for you? Well, tomorrow may be my last day. I feel you don't know me well enough <laughs> as of yet. Why, Walter, wherever is that Harvard braggadocio? Um, I'm suppressing it for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do I need to know? Well, that underneath the Harvard degree and the Ira Unger Leader Award for Outstanding Student of 2013 <laughs> is a take charge, aggressive male, but with a sensitive, almost womanish side, if that's what's called. It is a rare man who can combine those qualities. And a rare woman who can notice those qualities. We're quite unique, you and I. 
unique people deserve other unique people. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's wrong? No one has to know. Walter. What, darling? I have to tell you something. Yes, my angel. Clinton was smoother! What? <laughs> <laughs> Dog for that. Oh. You have one day to make me forget this ever happened. You can see yourself out. Unique people deserve other unique people. <laughs> I am not going back on bypass. <laughs> what am I looking at? I don't know marketing data. What's the point? It's 11:30. I'm not giving up Neil, so I'm not going to be around after tomorrow, anyways. Well, I don't know what to say, in English or French. The only one who's a lock is probably Mr. Harvard. That microwave works like a charm. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Right now, this here big fella is my only friend. How are you coming on those demographics? I spilled secret sauce on them. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is just hieroglyphics. You're going to help me with this, remember? The cheese between the patties. That's the genius of it. <laughs> what about our alliance? You don't announce that we have an alliance. Wait a minute. You were supposed to have an alliance with me. What? <laughs> you have an alliance with him? Yes, but ours is stronger. <laughs> you douchebag! You're the one who resorted to the Wellesley entrance exam. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Don't play coy, Sappho. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're a lying, scheming, low life. Did you say something? Ho? Ho? Oh, 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 that's oh, enough, oh, that's oh, enough. Oh, Just move over, I'll do it. I majored in business. You'd help me with this? Really? Why? Because I can't work this way. This every man for himself. We had an alliance. <laughs> Shut up. Look, if I'm still here, I cannot deal with that woman alone every day. The only way this job gets done is with teamwork. Well, that's just me. You guys do what you want. How can I help? What do you need? I have to gather lifestyle profiles on 18 more magazines. I'm on it. Thank you. Walter? <laughs> I'm with you. I just have a, a pie heating up. <laughs> I, I, I gotta see her just for a minute. Please let me in. It's urgent. You gotta help me. I'll give you five dollars. Okay, she doesn't want to see you. Ever. But you don't understand. It's a matter of life and death. I've got to get my job back. Why? Well, you're working at the White House. No! That place is a nightmare! <laughs> it's a show beyond your wildest dreams! This, this is Shangri-La. <laughs> Save me! <laughs> Andrea, we'll see you now. <laughs> Morning. Have a seat. <laughs> so, <laughs> who completed their personal task? <laughs> None of you. I may not get this job, which could result in a breakdown, but I know for <laughs> sure that no one will ever love me like Neil Stottlemyer. And if you don't understand that, then maybe this isn't the right place for me. But anything else, I'll change my religion, disown my parents, whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Jill. What about you two? Any transparent excuses to explain away your failure? No. I wasn't brought up to be an excuse maker. Uh. Just know that I'm more disappointed in myself than you are. Hey! You <laughs> <laughs> try to learn some damn foo foo language in three days, Preppy. You probably grew up speaking it in your big house in Greenwich, Connecticut. But I'm just a top sergeant's son trying to make my way in a world that won't ever cut a brother some slack. <laughs> <laughs> Who could? And Walter, 
what about you? Checking me. What? I was hungry. <laughs> this is a first. <laughs> Invariably, the personal tasks are fulfilled, but the group assignment arrives incomplete. In your case, it was the other way around. The only way to complete this project is to work together. You're the first group that's ever done that. Even at the expense of covering your own assets. So, I'm going to do something that's also a first. I'm going to keep all three of you. You are? For now. But that could change at any moment. In my heart, I know one of you is wrong for this job. I just don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you made note of who just took the high <laughs> Enough! All you have to do is prove to me every day that you belong. Andrea, oh my god, your puppy had wandered out the window and it's on the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> what she put us through? How cruel can one person be? You know, it doesn't kill us, just makes us stronger. I think I'm in love with her. <laughs> oh god, is that the bug eater? Thank god it's not the dog. Here, I'll take that. Someday she's gonna have my children. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>